Well, first of all, let me say, um, I don't know about you all, but I am all smiles. And the noise that we're hearing in the background, uh, in my opinion, those are sounds of sweet music. Uh, first of all, let me thank you and welcome you all to our Major Streets kickoff announcement. Uh, this is an amazing time in the city of Jackson. And all the things that you're seeing behind us uh, are indicative of the, of the things that we have all been anxiously awaiting to see around the city. Uh, when you look at uh, the fact that I just left uh, Bancorp South and there was a, a teller there who said that she had called the city since 2012 about the street that, uh, a major street that runs through her neighborhood, Woody Drive. And the fact that uh, in November, we were able to see Woody Drive get paved and her sentiment was the same as most folks' sentiments are around the neighborhoods and communities that we've been able to see our neighborhood program start in, and that is, it's about time. Uh, that's no short of what we're seeing behind us today. As we begin uh, work on major roads and thoroughfares throughout the city. Uh, Councilman Stamps, I remember uh, in 1997, my daddy had gotten a, uh, well, 1994 rather, my daddy had gotten a Chevy 1500. And my daddy said, uh, well, I was getting ready to take his truck for a ride, and he said, don't take my truck on Gallatin Street. I said, why not? He said, man, don't tell my tire. Well, I'm proud to say uh, that over 20 years later, here we are. Uh, if I was to drive that same truck that my mama now drives, uh, we'd be able to come down this street in a few weeks' time, hopefully, and see that truck not have to endure the same kind of trouble that my daddy had. Uh, questions about way in 1994. So on behalf of the more than 170 some thousand folk in the city of Jackson and the more than 800,000 that represent the metro area, I am so pleased to announce that we have begun this major road project. It's in uh, no way um, short of the fact that we have amazing support, uh, that we have Councilman Stamps here who represents the council of course from Ward 4 got Councilman, uh, uh, Councilwoman Simone, Baird Simone, who's here, representing Ward 7, who has been uh, pushing this project as well as others uh, for as long as I've known her. Uh, also, we've got great partners out in the community, uh, folks like Mr. McCants, who's a community member, and uh, the superintendent of schools who was here, uh, Dr. Frederick Murray, and all of the business owners who are represented and who are here on this street affects every day. And then just right down to the regular citizen who's driving back and forth uh, trying to get to his or her destination every day. We want to say thank you. Uh, this is just one of the streets, Gallatin. Uh, there will also be a, segment, a major segment on Raymond Road uh, that we'll see getting done, uh, Ridgewood Road that we'll see, uh, Briarwood that we'll see uh, as well. Uh, there's also, I think, y'all got to help me, uh, Jerry. Um, Oh, there it is right there, Greenway Drive. I don't have to forget Greenway Drive with uh, all of the issues we have over there in South Jackson. Uh, major industry, uh, industrial parkway over there, Lowe's, Walmart, uh, McRaven Road, uh, where we are excited about some new uh, work that's being done over in Buddy Bus Park that Councilman Stamps has been responsible for spearheading. Uh, and of course, the many roads that are to come that uh, that counts uh, that the 1% uh, Sales Tax Commission will be looking to approve very shortly. With that being said, I'm going to turn it over uh, to Councilwoman Simone, who will give some remarks. Uh, after Councilwoman Simone, uh, we will have uh, remarks by 1% uh, Sales Tax Commissioner, uh, Mr. John Ditto. And then after that time, we'll hear from community member, uh, Mr. McCants. At this time, would you please uh, help me welcome Councilwoman Simone. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mayor. Let me say, this has been a great week uh, in this job that we have. We um, had a ceremony to begin the law project across from the King Edward. We now are starting on Gallatin Street, which is the main artery leading up to that development. We are so excited about this uh, street project. There is nothing that brings a smile to our citizens' faces more than to, uh, for us to announce that a street will be paved. And I thank all of you who've been involved here, the commission, the, our, our, my colleagues on the council, 
uh, everyone that's been involved to get this project to this point. And I think that you'll be very pleased with the, the other projects that are coming in the very near future. But thank you all for being here. Thank you, Mayor. I'm John Ditto, um, representing the 1% Sales Tax Commission. And uh, this is just a great day. It's great to see um, major corridor, actually six major corridors, uh, started today. And, um, you know, I think this is just such a great example of how um, the state and cities can work together. Such a great example of how the state and cities can work together to improve our, uh, our communities. So um, thanks again, for everybody, for being here. Thanks, Mayor. Uh, Mr. McCants, you will come and give words, and after then, we'll ask Mr. Jerry and Smash, uh, Public Works Director, to come and give us an update, uh, not only on this project, but some of the others that we have going on that are associated, uh, not only with the 1% sales tax, but those major projects that will affect infrastructure improvement around the city. Mr. McCants. I'm Claude McCants, President of the Association of South Jackson Neighborhoods, and you know, our neighborhoods could not exist without infrastructure. We need our streets and water systems and sewer systems uh, functioning well in order for neighborhoods to thrive and be, uh, be uh, acceptable for our community. So I would like to thank the mayor, the public works director, the staff, the council people, all for participating to help our neighborhoods grow and thrive in Jackson. We need this. We need a continuation of of the other projects that are necessary. South Jackson, I think, is on our list, and I'm going to be there and, and give a whooping or a parade for every effort they make to improve our neighborhood. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. So, uh, as Mary Yarber said, obviously this is uh, one phase of Operation Orange Cone. Uh, it's a very significant part in that all of these streets represented, the, the seven streets uh, are critical to our infrastructure, to our transportation system, and to making sure uh, that the public has access uh, to you know, everything from schools to, of course, some of the uh, businesses. This is, uh, I think, imperative in the downtown area. Uh, it's been an issue for quite some time, as again, as Mary Yarber pointed out. So we're really excited to get started on Gallatin Street and then to just roll out some of these major streets. If you think about the extent, uh, as an example, Briarwood Road, uh, those of you that have traveled that recently and over a period of time, you know what shape it's in. We're actually able to get the boundaries uh, of these roadways to stretch so in that case that will go all the way from State Street uh, to Ridgewood so that will be much improved and even this project uh, we have extended a little bit it was originally intended to stop here but we are going to carry it along to uh, Pascagoula to uh, make sure that we have a smooth transition uh, on that uh, we really didn't want that to just get get, get cut out uh, as far as the other projects we have made uh, some renewed efforts with respect to the other Operation Orange Cone project uh, that's being uh, carried out. So we've seen work in, in Ward 7, 1, and we have started some work in Ward 3 as well. Uh, so that timeline has been extended until March, uh, and we expect that all of the initial streets that were planned will actually get done and taken care of. Uh, this particular project, we anticipate a timeline just conservatively that we should be done and fully wrapped up uh, by the time the summer gets here. I think as you can kind of see, uh, they started on last week. Uh, they've got the good section milled already, uh, so we should be rolling along uh, pretty quickly. Uh, we, we and, and that being the city as well as the staff and the mayor's direction, uh, have really worked to try to put these projects together. Uh, a lot of those folks are here and represented. Uh, we just want to say uh, thanks to IMS engineers for their work, and their coordination and program manager uh, for this, this particular project. We'd like to thank uh, Superior and their subcontractors for the work that they put in. Again, our staff, our, our engineering department has worked tirelessly uh, on these uh, efforts. And again, we're just looking forward to maintaining the momentum. Uh, thanks again to the mayor's office on behalf of uh, Ward 4, 
uh, get y'all um, out of here in just a second, but I would be remiss if um, I did not bring Ms. Mangum, who represents Councilman Stokes' office. Councilman Stokes has really been a champion uh, in our efforts to see improvement in every area around the city. So I want to ask Ms. Mangum if she was just offer words on behalf of Ward 3, and then we'll uh, give you closing remarks and move to question and answer. Good evening. Thank you for coming. Thank you for proving together we rise, together we succeed. On behalf of Councilman Stokes and Ward 3, where you all will be coming soon, thank you so much and may God bless. Thank you, Ms. Mangum. Uh, finally, let me thank uh, the program manager on this job, IMS. Uh, before IMS came on board, we were struggling to get these projects moving. Uh, since they've been with us, we've seen about 20, over 21 get started, so I wanted to make sure that I celebrated IMS for this. If somebody asks you, what does this mean today? What does this project mean for the city? What it means is continued momentum. It means that we have gotten the ball rolling uh, as far as infrastructure improvement is concerned around this city, and we have no intention of seeing us slowing down. So thank you, and God bless you, and looking forward to seeing many more of these happening in the near future.